Hi, my name is Aaron Frankel and I'm the founder of JerusalemExperience.com and today we are visiting archaeological excavation which only recently were open to the public and one unique about them that several archaeologists believe that they uncovered the true place of the trial of Jesus. So let's enjoy this video. Welcome to JerusalemExperience.com the place where you can watch videos from Jerusalem and its holy sites from your computer at home. Jerusalem's citadel, known as the Tower of David, is a medieval fortress located near the Jaffa Gate, which was, and still is today, the main entrance to the old city of Jerusalem. Fifteen years ago, expanding works started at the Tower of David in order to add a children's museum in an abandoned building adjacent to the Tower of David. This building was used as a prison by the Ottoman Turks and then by the British, while they ruled Jerusalem. Here is a picture of how the prison looked from the inside. And today, we can see the remainings of the iron bars here on the ceiling. As a special dig was launched, some interesting archaeological findings were discovered. The suspected remains of the palace were one of the more famous scenes of the New Testament may have taken place. The Trial of Jesus. For many years, archaeologists assumed that Herod's palace was built right next to the Tower of David. In this excavation work, they found evidence of that assumption. Here, we can see a remaining of a straight and long wall from the time of the Hashmonaim. What is interesting about this wall is that it was supported from both sides with constructions made during the time of Herod in order to support the podium for his palace that was built right here. The tower that we call today the Tower of David was one of three towers that were built here in order to protect Herod's palace. Now, what does this have to do with the trial of Jesus? Many believe that the trial of Jesus by Pontius Pilate had taken place at Herod's palace, at the western side of the city, and not as others believe that the trial took place at the Antonia Fortress, which was located at the northeastern side of the city near the Temple Mount. This current archaeological finding brings to life a debate about the actual location of the trial of Jesus, and thus also the direction of the Via Dolorosa. So, what is correct? That we should leave it to archaeologists to debate. What we believe is best said by Reverend David Pileggi, minister of Christ Church, an Anglican congregation near the Tower of David. What makes a place holy is the fact that people have gone there for hundreds of years, prayed, cried, and even celebrated there. So, I don't think there will be changes to the route anytime soon. But the prison does give us a clearer explanation of Jerusalem's history. Today, a pilgrim who visits Jerusalem can go to three different places that may mark the place of Jesus' trial. El Omaria School for Boys, where many believe was the place of the Antonia Fortress, the most common mark and where all procession of the Via Dolorosa start. The Praetorium Monastery, along the beginning of the Via Dolorosa, right after station number two where according to Orthodox tradition was the place of judgment by the Roman governor of Judea during the time of Jesus. It is also believed that here Jesus was held in prison prior to his trial. And for that we have a special video. And the Kishla prison at the Tower of David, where the palace of Herod stood and where the trial of Jesus may have taken place.